Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about ileus. We are going to see what is ileus is, what are the symptoms of it, causes, complications, tests, treatment and precautions. So let's get started. What is ileus? Ileus also called as gastrointestinal atony is inability of your intestine to contract normally leading to a buildup of stomach contents in part of the intestine. Typically, muscles in the intestines contract and relax to cause a wave-like motion called peristalsis. This movement helps food travel through your intestines. But when an ileus occurs, it stops peristalsis and prevents food particles, gas and liquids from passing through the intestines and lead to partial or complete intestinal obstruction. Now let us discuss about the symptoms of it. Symptoms may include abdominal bloating, abdominal distension, abdominal pain, gas, constipation, nausea and vomiting, feeling full in your stomach after small amounts of food or drink, dehydration. Now let us discuss about the causes. The first cause is a surgery. Surgery is the most common cause of paralytic ileus. An ileus most commonly occurs after abdominal or pelvic surgery. This may be because normal peristalsis is slow to return after surgery. Medications prescribed after surgery such as opioid pain relieving medications affect intestinal movement. Post surgical scarring can cause a blockage. Next cause is the inflammation. <coughs> inflammation of the abdominal cavity interrupts intestinal function such as appendicitis, pancreatitis, peritonitis, gastroenteritis, cholecystitis and diverticulitis. Next cause is the medications. Medications known to slow motility include anticholinergics, opioids, tricyclic antidepressants and phenothiazines. Next cause is the electrolyte disturbances. Electrolyte imbalances that may be in involved include hypokalemia, hypercalcemia, hypomagnesemia and hypophosphatemia. Other causes of ileus include infections and disorders of the muscles and nerves such as Parkinson's disease. In children, intersusception or telescoping often causes ileus. Intersusception is a condition in which part of the intestine slides into adjacent part of intestine. Now let us discuss about the complications. Ileus usually goes away in a few days, but if it's left undiagnosed and untreated, it can lead to life-threatening complications. These include perforation of the intestinal wall, tissue death, also called as necrosis, infection of the abdominal cavity, also called as peritonitis. Now let us discuss about the tests. Normally, paralytic ileus passes within a few days. If it lasts more than 5 days, your healthcare provider may investigate further to see if there is something else going on. The first test is the x-ray. An abdominal x-ray may show some obstructions, but they do not always identify ileus or other intestinal problems. Next test is the CT test, that is computerized tomography test. A CT scan provides more detail than standard x-ray images. These scans are more likely to highlight an ileus because they show the intestines from different angles. Next test is the ultrasound test. Doctors often diagnose children with a suspected ileus using an ultrasound scan. Ultrasound scans typically show a coiled area in the intestine when intersusception is present. Next test is the blood test. They may take a blood test to check your electrolyte and mineral levels. Next test is air or barium enema. This allows for enhanced imaging of the colon. This may be done for certain suspected causes of obstruction. During the procedure, the doctor will insert air or liquid barium into the colon through the rectum. Now let us discuss about the treatment. If ileus occurs as a natural side effect of your surgery, your treatment plan includes bowel rest. You will avoid eating by mouth until your bowel function has returned. Parenteral nutrition. 
you may need to have your fluids, electrolytes and nutrients replaced through an IV. Prokinetics Medications to promote peristalsis may help reboot your bowel function if it doesn't recover soon enough on its own. Nasogastric tube In severe cases, a thin tube may be passed into your stomach through your nose to drain air and fluid. Treatment for partial obstruction If you have an obstruction in which some food and fluid can still get through, you may not need further treatment after you have been stabilized. Your doctor may recommend a special low fiber diet that is easier for your partially blocked intestine to process. If the obstruction does not clear on its own, you may need surgery to relieve the obstruction. Treatment for complete obstruction If nothing is able to pass through your intestine, you will usually need surgery to relieve the blockage. The procedure you have will depend on what's causing the obstruction and which part of your intestine is affected. Surgery typically involves removing the obstruction as well as any section of your intestine that has died or is damaged. Now let us discuss about the precautions. Eating smaller portions more often. Avoiding large amounts of high fiber foods such as whole grains, cereals and nuts. Focusing on eating soft or liquid meals. Limiting the intake of caffeine which can irritate the bowels. Avoiding tough or stingy foods such as dried meat, exercising regularly and stay staying hydrated. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.